we operate on as many people as we can for early stage non-small cell lung cancer, normally state, uh, stages one through to three A. Um, the earlier the stage you operate on, generally the better uh, long-term survival. So principle, smaller the tumor, the better at the outcomes. Um, now we know that uh, lung cancer uh, can metastasize to regional lymph nodes in the chest or, or distant sites. Um, and when you operate on a, even a stage one, a, a small early stage lung cancer, a stage 1A tumor, uh, there is a risk of recurrence, <clears throat> um, probably a, for a stage 1A of around about 10 or 15% over the next five years. And normally, um, if you had to do a complete resection at that stage, you wouldn't give any adjuvant therapy. Um, slightly more advanced tumors, as they go up to stage two or, or they have lymph node involvement, we would then offer um, adjuvant chemotherapy uh, as a sort of belt and braces type approach um, to try and deal with any uh, residual disease which hasn't been resected by surgery. Um, that confers a small survival advantage of around about 5%. Um, but obviously it's a lot for the patients to go through and some, you know, most will get some side effects of some description. Um, and of course, if you could avoid chemotherapy, that would be great. Uh, so if we had a better way of predicting which patients would benefit most from chemotherapy, um, that, that would be the sort of holy grail as it were. So, um, you know, as a result, minimal residual disease or, um, assessment of it, um, you know, if we can, uh, get it uh, sorted would be would really change our practice and allow far more targeted and focused adjuvant therapies to be given to the right the right individuals so avoid chemotherapy where it's not needed and and targeted at the cases where it's going to have the potentially have the most effect